All right, Shalom. Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Racha HaKwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutation to the elect, the house of David. All right, so I'm uh, here. Just uh, Brother Yashawamba. I have the Brother Bonsapad and the Brother Sha'ar, uh, fellow priest, uh, in helping and building the tabernacle of David here in these latter days. Um, and uh, we were uh, breaking bread, and uh, brothers brought up this situation uh, dealing with Louisiana mother arrested for whipping, all right, children, all right, because we have children. Ultimately, the word kid means baby goat, but kid can also mean, uh, you know, a child as well, but we have children, okay? Um, Louisiana mother arrested for whipping child after sons uh, break into neighbor's home. All right, and we were talking about it, although this is a situation that happened a few years ago. This is just, you know, evidence that this man is the devil, man. Uh, and, you know, they have this series going on, you know, why, you know, uh, we call you the devil. And here it is, these uh, children, these niggas, these little niggas, niggas, all right, because niggas are, are bred out of confusion, out of a situation of disorder. All right. When you look at the so-called Negro, Latino and Native American, mainly you so-called Negroes, because when you look at the different tribes, they were cursed. All right. In different ways, man. All right. Whereas you have the northern kingdom, they still have a sense of family and unity. All right. But they're dumb as hell. Whereas Judah. All right. They still have a, a, a sense of spirituality left in them, right. you know, but they don't have no unity at all. They, they, they've lost the, the value of of. of you know, sticking together or anything, man, yeah. you know, family yeah. through. All right. Because, all the, you, you know, the, those were the main ones who was coming against uh, the Messiah, Judah, Benjamin and Levi. Yeah, right. All right. But um, this situation that we're looking at here is proof that this man is the devil, man. And anything that you do. All right. That uh, leans towards, you know, correction or, or, or you know, um, rebuke or, you know, stopping wickedness. Amongst your nation, Esau's angry at you, man. Right. Okay? Now, here it is. These two niggas went and robbed somebody's house. Okay? And the mother whoops them for that, which is, you know, what they should do, what she should do. Right. And Esau takes her to jail. Right. You know, but then if they grow up and, 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 and rob someone else's house, he'll, he'll put them on the news and there'll be a top story within his situation, okay. his, 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 his uh, system, man. You know, statistics, things he can point to and say, look, see, they're just a bunch of niggas. They're wicked. They're off. They're this. Right. They're beast. We need right. to be worried about these people. We need to hold, clutch our purses. Yeah. You know? Like in Lamentations said, they hiss and clap their hands at them. Right, mm -hmm. right, right, right. And this is just proof that this man is the devil and ultimately he's anti-Messiah, man. Right. Because when you when you go into what an anti-Messiah is, basically it's someone against Yahawashai, man, mm -hmm. what he stands for, his way, and Yahawashai basically is the law, okay? And he, he comes in the volume of the book. So when you look at the particular ways that the Bible pushed, there's a particular energy in a particular way, all right, that the Israelites followed, man, okay? And correcting a child for doing wickedness is a part of that. You see, and Esau's against that. You see, that's why our children are as wild bulls in a net running around the world because they haven't been corrected. That's right. they, the, the father has been taken out of the house, which is systematically. Some of it is because some of them ain't shit. You know, that's a part of it. But ultimately, the system was set up to get the man out of the house. Okay? Mm -hmm. And as the scriptures say, once the uh, strong man is bound, then the, the, the enemy can spoil the goods. And what is the goods? Our families. Okay? The mother has been destroyed, okay, and totally indoctrinated and given over to the serpent's wisdom. She is the first teacher. She teaches that to the child, you know, teaches him because to hate his nation right. and to hate himself. Mm -hmm. Don't rebuke him. And then when she does, this type of stuff happens, man. Right. So damned if we do, damned if we don't. You had a precept, brother? Well, that's Proverbs 13. Yeah, go ahead, brother. Okay. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 13, verse 24. He that spareth his rod hateth his son, mm -hmm. but he that loveth him chasteneth him betimes. Mm. You want to break it down? Yeah, kind of. I mean, really, uh, you know, I'll read it again. He that spareth his rod hateth his son. Mm -hmm. Because as you was pretty much going into, 
systematically when you look into it right now, especially when you have the so-called black woman raising a lot of these children, they don't beat their children no more. Now, right, right now, what we're looking at is an example of one doing it. Right. You know, but you, when you talk to a lot of black women, they don't end up beating their children no more. They'll belittle them and say they ain't shit. Yeah. This, that, and the third. Time beat them out. up psychologically. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't whoop your children, they're gonna grow up to be spoiled, man. And that's why the scriptures say it pretty much point blank. You know, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Again, it says, "He that spared his rod hated his son." Right. Because if you don't discipline your child. The way you're supposed to, as the scriptures say, right? You setting them up for failure. You setting them up for failure. But if you, if you, if you was a child that grew up with whoopings, that set you straight, and you knew not to do certain things. Right. When, when you acted wickedly as a child, you would think like, "Oh snap, I can't right. do this because right. I'm gonna get a whooping." Right. But if you don't, if you don't uh, chastise your child, which a lot of these parents ain't doing now. Children are going to be free to do whatever the hell they want to, man. Mm -hmm. Walk over their parents. Exactly. Back well, that's what Edomites do. That's right. That's how that's Edomite right. households are ran. Mm -hmm. Right. Fuck you, mommy, and all that. And, that, and that's now what you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans have become, man. Right. Into that system, yep. Man, these got, it's a car, right? children are bad as oh, hell, man. man. Bro. H hella bad. Man, hella bro. Run around the river. Bro, bro oh, it's me. horrible. Look, Carlos, throw it off, man. <laughs> throw it off. You got, go ahead. So you got some more? Oh, yeah, no, I'm going to play this video a little bit, and then uh, we'll get into the uh, some more scriptures, man. And it's funny how it, you see how Esau just, you know, takes advantage of these situations. And, uh, man, he's the devil, man. Right. God damn, I'm tired of Esau. Using the reasonable discipline of a minor to make sure that her kids are on the straightened path, and she gets arrested for it. It's absolutely outrageous. The three boys allegedly broke into the home of Elisa Nicholson, who lives down the street from Spears. She was not home at the time of the burglary. She says they stole her young son's electronics and socks. Nicholson believes that Spears didn't do anything wrong. The way she handled the situation. And, and, and Jake is wicked, man. Yeah. This is horrible, man. The fact that you still in anyway, man. Still it ain't cool, man. That's wicked for somebody to come. Look into their situation or their, their their personal belongings and find out that it's been taken by somebody, man. Uh, That's a horrible feeling, man. And you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, and you Latin tribes are some goddamn thieves. You you oh, do man. some of the biggest thieves out here, man. But you niggas are thieves as well, man. All of you are thieves. Mm -hmm. That's a wicked act, man. Stealing people cars. Yep. People have situations that they need that car for. And they go to get the car and it's gone. They go into their bank account. You didn't stole money out of it using some sort of uh, uh, technology, man. Right. This is the type of wicked. bullshit that goes on in Babylon the Great. And a lot right. of that is niggas, man. Right. Damn, yeah, that's like, wicked, man. Straight up. They wise. need their ass beat. Like the Bible said they're wise to do evil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our people are wise to do evil, man. Laden with it. Laden with iniquity. ...was to spank them or whoop them. Which is what I would have done. After our interview, she went over to Spears' home to thank her. I don't believe that she should have been arrested for that. And I think she's a fine parent and she, she does, you know, what she can for her kids. District Attorney Hiller Moore has yet Esau. to see the police reports on the incident, and he doesn't know enough at this point to make a decision on whether or not to prosecute Spears. Yeah, he he did say that he doesn't want to discourage parents from disciplining their children. In my life, if I had done that or those allegations, I can guarantee you by the time I came home, I'd be met by a 4 foot 11 mother with a pot right. and a pan and a stick, and later on by a six foot tall dad who instilled discipline and inflicted discipline on me, and I believe that that surely helped me in growing up. Moore says his office will review well, we photos, interviews, and police reports before deciding whether or not they want to prosecute Spears. What the law says, it's really simple, although it makes it difficult. It's unjustifiable pain or protracted pain that's inflicted on a child. Uh, that's that's what the, the facts are, and that's what... Now, of course you're not supposed to destroy your child, pistol whip him, yeah, you know, yeah. but, but the scriptures does prescribe... All right, that you are to whoop your children, man. Yeah. Okay? Now, I have a child. Now, personally, in, a, in, in about four years, I haven't had to touch him. He's been, he, every, uh, he got it he from that, it. Right. you know, and then there are situations where I could, but I just talk to him. You know right. what I'm saying? But if he does something to the point where it needs to be, he will get him, uh, you know? Mm -hmm. Allegedly. You know, allegedly, because they'll yeah, Esau yeah, yeah. come to the goddamn door with the right. fuck with a kango on, right. ready to arrest your ass, man. Well, it was funny in the scriptures. Yeah. 
if a child disobeyed his parents in our culture, he was stoned. He was stoned. He right. Go the, he go to the town circle and they were stoned. Look that up. Yeah. I think that's Deuteronomy twenty three. Deuteronomy twenty three. Uh, let's see. Let's get the law. First off, let's get the law. All right, you have some. Why y'all looking? I got some right here. Go ahead. This is Proverbs chapter twenty two verse six. Train up a child in the way he should go, mm -hmm. and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Right. Read it again. Come. It says, train up a child in the way he should go. In the way that he should go is in the way of righteousness. And what does the scripture say? He that teacheth this child grieveth the enemy. Right. So Esau hates when we teach our children, man. Mm -hmm. That's why he wants you out of the house in the state through this bullshit educational system to raise your children right. as well as plants, okay, in a form of rappers, actors, movie stars, or, or, or sports athletes that he placed there built up from and some of these niggas have been built up from children to be in that position to have influence over your child man okay right and all of it amounts to be an anti-messiah man okay. he wants your child to be brought up to be an anti-messiah that's what this this system is teaching our children right. to be anti-messiah right. that's what you're being trained from a child up that's right. to be is an anti-messiah yeah. college anti-messiah all of it mm -hmm. go ahead I got it. Dude, you was gonna say something it's cool. Oh, oh, okay. Deuteronomy 21 and 18. You get it? You got it. Uh, Deuteronomy 21 and 18. Get it, go ahead, get it. If a, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 21 and 18. If a man have a stubborn and rebellious son, which he will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother, and that when they have chastised him, will not hearken unto them. Mm -hmm. Verse 19. Then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him. Lay hold. <laughs> Cease. Mm -hmm. right. That's the same word, mm -hmm. all right. For yeah, yeah, yeah. but anyway, go ahead. That's another topic, right? Then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him and bring him out unto the elders of the city and unto the gate of his place. Verse twenty, and they shall say unto the elders of his city, "This our son is stubborn and rebellious, which her child children was rebellious, yep. and will not obey our voice." Right, he is a glutton. And right, a we live in a society where evil doers are uplifted. Right. The scriptures say when a scorner is punished, the simple is made proud. Right. Mm. So when you when you punish a scorner, you you set a standard for the community that this isn't the way. Right. Like if Nicki Minaj or or, or what's the, what's another one of these whores names? Cardi, who, B, Cardi, Cardi B. B. Yeah. Or 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 it's, it's it's various more who push a a, a very satanic or anti messiah vibe. They wouldn't be on TV if we controlled the world mm -hmm. and if if there was a TV. But I'm just saying, they would be punished. They would be stoned. They would be, if the, especially if there was a priest, though, they would be burned. Yeah, yep. You see? And that right there would have the other women like, I'm not going to be fear. no whore. Right, right. That's, that's how you promote righteousness, right. man. You see that's what I'm right. saying? That's right. Go ahead. You got it. No, that's cool. Get on. Go, go, go. Country, go. Go, ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. It's like you got to show the example pretty much, man. Right. All right. Like we brought up the example bringing your children into the priest in front of all of them. Well, I got that, one more verse on that, too. Okay. That, that, that made your child a public example. And once your child is or once anybody is humiliated in front of anybody for something that they've done, they're not going to do it no more, man. Mm -hmm. But Esau doesn't push that. They teach that if you end up doing it in front of people or doing it in general, you get your child taken away from you, man. Right, right. And we all understand that it's systematic why Esau does that. Right, because right. as we read earlier in Proverbs 22, it talked about to train up your child. Right. And he will depart from it as he gets older. Well, that works vice versa. If you ain't whooping up your child, if you ain't training them up, if you ain't, if you sparing that rod, they're going to grow up to be wicked, man. Mm -hmm. These children don't know how to be humble, man. When you humi when these children are humiliated now, now right. they're grown men. Right. When they're humiliated, they resort to getting a gun and wanting to shoot somebody, man. But if they, right. If, if they, if they had wisdom. If, yeah. You see, they right. would know how to discern and chill and, you know, That's and right. this, is what the, what, this is what we're teaching our people. And Esau's demonizing us. Mm -hmm. We're telling our people not to be beast. Not to be drug dealers, not to be faggots, not to be lesbians, not to be drug users, not to be uh, abusers, not to be uh, 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 whatever is against the scriptures. And they're mad at us. Right. Just like this woman, although we, we're not going to say she was the greatest parent. You can look at her and tell, right. you know, but at the end of the day, she that did. wasn't a wicked de deed, man. That was right. a righteous act. That was a righteous act. Whoop they ass, man. Mm -hmm. You robbing other people. You can get me killed. You can get it, you can get the whole family killed. Mm -hmm. These niggas find out it was you, then now we all a target, yeah. man. Right. Yep. 
furthermore, that's their possessions. Yep. The law teaches you not to covet after your neighbor's possessions, man. Mm -hmm. man. Which is why the law, statutes, and commandments is is are holy. They're separate from this world. Although we can't keep them perfectly, we do teach to keep the laws, man. Right. And laws like not stealing somebody else's shit is very is easy to keep. For real, I guarantee you. See, this country is crazy, man. People that steal with either hand, you cut their hand off, and people it, it, like you touch yeah, that's them. in the law. Yep. Oh, okay. Well, no, no, the law on cutting the hand off is uh, if a woman hits another man in the nuts, and, well, if oh, there's yeah, a fight, stones. you know. The her hand will be cut off, you know. So if you see yeah. that you got six people walking around with their hand cut off, you would be like, man, the women ain't. I'm not for the fight, no man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, one more verse. Yep. Yep. Deuteronomy 20, 21. And all men of his city shall stone him with stones that he died. So shalt thou put away evil from among you, Woo! and all Israel shall right. hear and fear. Put you away see? evil from among you, which is why I'm, I'm gonna read this, and one of y'all can break it down. Proverbs twenty one and eleven. When the scorner is punished, the simple is made wise. That's right. And when the wise is instructed, he receiveth knowledge. Mm -hmm. Again, that one's pretty self-explanatory right. as well, man. You know what I'm saying? The simple's going to be wise. You see somebody doing something they ain't supposed to do, and you see the punishment that person receives, you're not going to do that. Just as right. we explained, man. Right, right. You're going to be made wise afterward because right. maybe in your thought process, right. sometimes you might have thought to do some things, but right. you didn't do it. But you've seen somebody else do that action, right. And you're going to think to yourself, man, right. I'm glad I ain't do it. Right. And I ain't going to ever do that. Period. Right. And this is proof that Esau wants you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in a state of disarray, right. confusion, mm -hmm. and rebellion. Right. And this is why when you read in the scriptures, Isaiah 51 and 20, thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of the streets mm -hmm. as a wild bull in a net. They are full of the fury of the Lord, the rebuke of thy God. When you look at these little niggas, man. That are raised by their mothers and just left to their own will. All right, uh, that should be Ari Naza. They 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 have a dark countenance on them, man. Totally, bro. totally dark. You be like, nigga, get away from. Ugh. Right. Little niggas, man. Why is that ultimately? Because they have not been corrected. They have not been taught discipline or balance or discernment or none of that. Right, right. They haven't had a father in their house, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Just and real quick, uh, go ahead. Uh, Proverbs 22 and 15. Because foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. Because a child don't know, don't have directions or instructions. Right. The, parent right. be, the parent supposed to be into the scriptures to guide the house. Right. To guide right. the child. Because right. they're foolish. Right. And then, and then when you look at parents, the parents here they have no goddamn direction. They don't know what to do. Right. So even, but, but I'll say this. P children who have a mother and father in this society are That's better right. off. Right. And Coach K from Duke even said, I don't deal with children, men who were raised in single-parent household. I don't recruit them. Mm. Wow. He said the father would have to have been in the house. And why do you think he said that? Because of experience. Mm -hmm. He's seen that these niggas are, are, are worse. Right. <laughs> Man. Go ahead. Foolish, uh, Proverbs, 22. Yes, no, no, you Proverbs 22 and 15. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, and their heart is lobbed in Hebrew meaning your mind. Your mind. Children are foolish, man. If you let a child run the world, man, he'll destroy, he don't know what to do, man. <laughs> right. Hey, well, look at Esau in the rulership seat. He's man. a child. Hey, they that are younger than I have me in Right, he's a, he's, a, he's a big kid. But the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. Mm. What? What is it going to drive from him? Foolishness. Right. So Esau don't want you niggas without fool. He wants you with foolish mm. foolishness. That's why he took the lady to jail. That's right. That's right. Crazy, man. And when, once you do those actions as the scriptures prescribed, even though Jake is wicked, but those are still ways to get closer to the Lord. Right, man. right, right. You know, whipping your child, those are what the scriptures prescribe. So when you do those things, right. to a degree, right. you're getting closer to the Lord. Right. And Esau does right. not want us close to the he Lord. He don't want you close to the Lord. He wants right. you to look at young thug and these niggas with dresses on right. and all these fake, inner, these, these thugs who have been orchestrated. Like Ice Cube, Tupac, all of these niggas, and I'm not going to go deep into it, all of these niggas, and all of these 20, all of these niggas that you see are manufactured people who are put there so that they can influence your culture. Right, right. They, they are paid actors, man. Right. None of this shit has been, none of this shit that we've grown up looking at is real. It's all wickedness. It's all, you don't think the enemy would do that? Right. He got billions and trillions of dollars. He can pay people to do anything. So he go he he's built up these thugs and these different personas and personalities from you know 
scratch and made these fake ass people and your child we even looked up to him for what yeah. guidance and a way to be and who to be and what to yeah, be man. Right. Right. you yeah, see that, that, and it's all right. bullshit but when the father's there that's a threat right man we got to look that one up in the apocrypha he that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy mm. grieveth um but uh grieveth the enemy i got uh, a few grieveth the enemy i look it up uh i mean you look it up this is a I'll, I'll read this while y'all look that up. Proverbs 19 and 18. Chasten thy son while there is hope. Mm. You see? <laughs> while there is hope. Right. All right? And that's why he's a child. Mm. Because once he gets older and he ain't had, the, if that ain't right. still, he's going right. to be a complete monster. Yeah. Full of the rebuke of the Lord. Just a wild, loose cannon. All right? Who just goes around the planet Earth doing what the so-called white man would do, but he does it on smaller levels. Okay, these niggas are are basically walking representations of Esau. They go into different neighborhoods, destroying shit. They go into different neighborhoods, giving people diseases. They're little niggas. They're little Edomites, man. Mm -hmm. Chocolate covered Edomites, man. Mm -hmm. Or golden, you know. They 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 learn the way of the enemy. Chasten thy son while there is hope, and let not thy soul spare for his crying. You see? So our culture teaches to discipline children. Now, of course, you don't go crazy with it to where they're, you know, bleeding and their teeth knocked out. But you do it according, you know, to mm -hmm. wisdom. But that's, in this society, you can be taken to jail. Man, easily. Adrian it's Peterson. Serious. And your whole career can uh, uh, be destroyed, man. Hey, uh, uh, Adrian Peterson. Yeah, yep, yep. And I don't, I don't know. I mean, maybe he went a little too far. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, 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 that's but that's his child. You, the dad, the child didn't die. Right. Hey. But the child grow up and be a nigga. He dies. Mm. Pow for being yeah, a nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to jail for life, ruining somebody else's life. Go ahead. Now the point, the point is that it's impossible to think that when a a man grows up his child and, and corrects his child, right. that there's not going to be any marks whatsoever mm -hmm. at any time. Forever, man. Not, you know what I'm saying? The whole thing's not realistic. Of course, at some point, you know, he's going to get hit a little hard. And what happens when you get hard? Maybe a bruise. Certain things happen. So to think that a kid, his whole life being corrected, right. is going to be scot-free of any bruise, right. any nick, it's not right. reasonable. Right, 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 right. Right, and you do talk to your children too. Every situation doesn't need to be a whooping. Right, it's a balance. It's a balance, but certain shit, bro, it's like, bro. That's it, yeah. God damn. Children will do some stupid shit, bro. Go off. Bro, you like that. And then in this age, you know, the internet, you know, they, you, right. you know? Yeah. Where you at? Sirac 30 and 3, the one, the one you asked. Sirac 30 and 3. All right, hold up. Sirac, go ahead. Sirac chapter 30, verse 3. He that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy. Woo! And before his so he friends, mad that you teach your son. Right. He got an attitude because you teaching your son. Mm -hmm. Whenever I'm walking somewhere with my son, you got Edomites looking. Mm -hmm. And you can tell they salty like he, he doesn't meet the, 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 he's not qualified in our box mm -hmm. right. that we, you know, they don't like that shit, man. Right. Oh, man. Jake families, you notice they always looking. Mm -hmm. If you out with your woman and your child, they always look a certain way and they'll smile or Oh, there's that's a good one. Always. You see what I'm saying? I always do that, man. That's true. We go to the stone shows with our children. Esau in there. Well, okay. Are these black people? What are they doing? Yeah. Wow. These are different black people. When well, that's our culture. Right. That's supposed to be your culture. Yeah. But instead, yeah. your culture is just being a dark nigga, man. Right. Right. One savage. Right. Yeah. You know what? The, you know what? The, that's what, hey. That's why whenever you homeschool your kid, right, and you don't put them in the school system, they threaten you. Yeah, that's all kinds of right, and right, and fines and right. They try to scare you right. to put them back in right. there, man. Right, right, and that's the a court. reason. And there's a reason because he don't give out shit for free. Right. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But you go, you can take your children to the school eight hours a day for free. Yeah. Why is that? That's right, right. right. Yeah. Straight up. Wow. Spiritual. <laughs> spiritual, man. Because he wants to take over your soul, man. Right. Go ahead. That's right. And even like, you know, going into he that teaches his son, the previous verse goes into chastisement. So when you chastise your child, that's another way of teaching your child a lesson. Look at your how shy. Right. Go ahead. When you when you whooping your child, man, that's why they call C you know, CPS comes right. to attack you. It grips right. the enemy, right. man. And then a pedophile adopts them. Right. It, right. Exactly. 
Exactly. And the pedophile adopts them and then rapes them and does some crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know? A pedophile, like you said, a pedophile, man. Right. Does some crazy, bizarre stuff. And there's hella instances where that happens, man. man. But they go away scot-free. Swept under the rug. Nobody talks about it. Right. And that child grows up to be a complete bug out. Ends up <laughs> right. murdering somebody. Right. Going to jail. Doing whatever. Right. And nobody... No, Talking to himself on the side of the road, yeah. walking up the street, rapping loud as it's, hell to himself man, with the headphones. And you're like, what's wrong with this nigga? Yeah. You know what? He's been raped. Yeah. Nigga's been destroyed. He yeah. went through, he saw something that just he ain't been, he ain't able to turn back from. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if he got his ass beat or if the father was in the house. Yeah, there you go. Then you would have. Not just a father, but a, but you know, even a regular father's presence Helps. Yes. A father who may not be as hands on and may not have the spirit, even his present his helps. Presence, but right. the 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 uh, the knowledge we're supposed to lead with is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of these scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. And even us as men who have children that are around them, even our presence, our children learn so much just by us being there. Mm -hmm. Without you, don't even have to say stuff. Sometimes they could just Actions. see how you deal with brothers, and Actions. and they're developing. Yeah. There's there's a way being developed in their mind frame. Oh, they they make each other's plates. They 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 salute mm -hmm. each other. They you know they treat you. They have fun yeah, together. They listen to music. You know they they don't they're not fighting. You know it's not a gang. It's, this is based upon the Bible. So they're seeing and being implanted with because all children do all day is they're being embedded with ideas and thoughts and ways to handle situations. But if they're watching TV, what are they what are they yeah. learning? Nothing. All sorts of shit, bro. Left hand and then, left hand. even in this society, we our children have tablets. You can't. You got to do this work. You, 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 you know. Your child may be watching something or looking at some cartoon or something. They're being. We got to get the fuck out of here at the end of the day, man. I got one real quick. Got more. That was it. Uh, Proverbs twenty nine and seventeen. Correct thy son, and he shall give thee rest. Mm. Yay. He start at start at fifteen. <laughs> Proverbs 29 to 15, the rod and reproof give wisdom. The rod and reproof give wisdom. You see that? That you learn lessons. Damn, I shouldn't have did that. Even when the Lord put you through hell, through something stupid you do in this life, that's the correction. That's chastening. And, and it don't feel good, but you learn a lesson from that. I'm not going, man, I need to leave these hoes alone. Or maybe I need to do this. Maybe next time. Right, right. Hey, but you know what? You learn. You learn if you don't faint. Right. If you don't faint. Right. If you, if you're up your lungs. Right, right, you right, 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 right. But that's how you have to be as a child. Children don't. When you whoop a child mm -hmm. and correct them, right. they don't faint. Right, right, right. An hour later, after they're crying, they right back hugging you, hugging you, yeah. hugging you loving sure. you. Yeah, yeah. And then a lot of times when I was young, I have no children, but I know when I was young and when my father whooped me. I have to sit in the room for about two hours. Mm -hmm. And when you're sitting in that room, you think you meditating right. on everything. Right. You reflect on yourself. Right. I would, I, man, I'm never going to do that. Ever. I'm not going to do that again. It's the worst day of my life. Right. I don't want to go gonna through do this. that again. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. 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 The rod and reproof, Proverbs 29 and 15, the rod and reproof give wisdom. But a child left to himself bringing his mother to shame. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what they, <laughs> and bam, that's what happens in the hood. Yep. Because where's the father? Real quick, get Mark 3. Um, Mark 3. And 27. This is Mark chapter 3, verse 27. No man can enter into a strong man's house and mm -hmm. spoil his goods, mm -hmm. except he will first bind the strong man. Bind the strong man. And then he will spoil his house. Then he will spoil his house. And then what does that leave there? The woman, yep, yep, yep. the woman, and she's the leader. Now yep. she's your backbone. Yep. Even Barack Obama told you niggas, the, the black woman has been the backbone. Okay, well, that's true. She has, over the last 50, 60 years, been the head mm -hmm. through, wow. okay, the, but look at the nation. Right. Look at the nation right. oh, since right. she's been the head, man. Right. Destroyed. Look at Oprah Winfrey, all of these, Queen Latif, mm -hmm. all of these billionaire, millionaire nigga women Who've been at the forefront of this thing? Yeah, what have they? Look at the hood, niggas in the hood. Who are they raised by? Right, mm. their mothers. Their mothers, man. Mm. Oh, what's that? Sirac, uh, curse of the mother. That's why a lot of these niggas act off impulse, man. When they grow right. adults, you step on their shoes. 
you do something to them, and it and you look at it like, why they get mad? Sirach three and nine. They act off impulse because that's how women act naturally, man. Right. Women get angry and act off impulse and do crazy rash. Right, things. right. And these men are just reacting on things that they've seen with their two with eyes. mother with gossiping, up. arguing mm -hmm. yep. on hey, the phone. That's right. Hey, you know what? And that's why that's why a woman needs to be controlled. Right. Uh, man. By, by, by a righteous man. By a righteous man. There that's you right. go. She can't. She can't get it together by herself. She right? ain't. She ain't built to be in the position that she's yeah, in. That's it. That's right. And okay. they're starting to figure that out. Mm -hmm. But they're so proud that they won't admit it. They won't accept it. They won't accept it. The serpent has set you women up for failure. Yep. The position he's given you is not the position in order that the Lord has ordained. So You're not built for that. Those emotions and that love that you try to go around the world, giving everything and every situation, that belongs in your household, right. with your children and with your husband. You should not be in a position of ruling things with those emotions and that it doesn't work. The world ain't built like that. Right. right that's true. You see? Let me start at eight up. Go ahead. He's asked because three and eight, honor thy father and mother, both in word and deed, right. that a blessing may come upon thee from them. Then the blessing. And see, the father and the mother have a glory. Mm -hmm. See, when we say these things about women, they get mad. But Esau taught you that. Why do you want to be out of your order? You have an order. You have a beautiful position within the nation. Bro, you're a beautiful vessel for what you are for. But Esau tells you you're beyond that and look at you. Through, lonely, mm -hmm. running everybody it. away. Verse nine. And look at the men. You uplift that madness and push it. Go ahead. Verse 9, for the blessing of the father established the houses of children, mm -hmm. but the curse of the mother rooted out foundations. The Woo! curse of the mother rooted out foundations. What is our foundation? It's truth, man. Right. So niggas going, coming around, coming. I, I can, I've seen it. The nigga is sagging his pants, looking like a complete demon, and the mother is smiling at it. That's my baby. That's my boy. Mm -hmm. Anybody who come up against them, they, she curse them out. Mm -hmm. You can't say nothing bad about them. That's because of these damn women, man. Right. And you know, you know a good example. Watching like First Forty Eight, and you and you see the last scene where they talking to the mama, and she she got gold teeth in the mouth. She right. look horrible. Look, right. look hooded. Right. And she my baby, but then couldn't kind of find out her son did all this bullshit. But everything she has to say is like he didn't do nothing wrong. Right. Oh, I got it. Hey, he been it. robbing people. He been. Busting, hitting licks, busting down doors. Right, 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 right. She don't even care. Well, Just like, look, right. that's we'll, my son. Right, we'll get like two more and we'll close it out. I got a client. He's a teacher and a coach. So this little child skipped line to get food. Yeah. So the, 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 the cafeteria people got on to him. Mm -hmm. He called his mom up there. She acting a fool, arguing with the people up there. Because yeah. cause he said, no, you can't skip line. You can't tell my son what to do. She yeah, that's school, them. That's that them. Shit, that's yep. them type like, of bitches. Boy, this evil, crazy, right? Right. And, and not that. That does. And, and see, you do have particular women who try, but they're in messed up situations. You know, they're not. See that they're not, but they try with the best that they can with what they have. Right. But you have mothers, and this is the majority of that these bitches ain't shit. And they're raising children based off of the emotion and the bad shit that happened to them yeah. and that emotion that comes with it and they instilling this shit into the children, man. God, that's right. And the nigga is completely walking around with his lip hanging down. He don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. And why is this? Because of the system of Edomite supremacy requires this. Right. It requires a dysfunctional situation. Okay? As a matter of fact, somebody get wis uh, Wisdom of Solomon. We'll get two more. Wisdom of Solomon uh 14 and go to verse uh verse just start at 22 we'll, right and this is the new world order before the new world order the the original new world order was ham <laughs> the Amites, they, you know, the the truth, and this is what Esau bases his whole existence off of the Hamites. Your wickedness ain't even original, you goddamn devil. Go ahead. Wisdom of Solomon fourteen and twenty two. Moreover, this was not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of the Most High, but whereas they lived in the great war of ignorance, those so great players called they peace. And people call this peace. Yeah. All right, go ahead. For they, Wallace, Wallace, 
Mm -hmm. For they wildest, they showed their children in they sacrifice. Slew their, they their, slew their children in sacrifice. And this is basically speaking of the priesthood of this world. Mm -hmm. All of this is coming to fruition because of the priesthood of the world. And the priesthood of the world to come is going to be righteous, man. Go ahead. Or used secret ceremonies mm -hmm. or made revelings of strange rites. Mm -hmm. They kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled. Lives nor marriages. That's the foundation of a family. Is a man and a woman coming together. It's now defiled. Look at it now. Go ahead. But either one slew another treacherous, traitorously. traitorously. That ain't that what we seeing? Mm -hmm. Marriages are defiled. Just people backstabbing one another. Go ahead. Or grieve him by adultery. Right now, jump to verse twenty-six. Dis disquieting of good men, forgetfulness of good turns, defiling of souls. Changing, yeah, changing of kind. Transgenderism. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Disorder in marriages. Disorder in marriages. Mm -hmm. That is one of the ways of the 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 plan to overturn righteousness and set up the wicked wicked kingdom. So these Edomites don't like when you correct your children and and you show order within your nation. Mm -hmm. Right, it's true. It grieveth the enemy, as we just read. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead. Adultery and shameless uncleanness. Woo! <laughs> and it all goes back to idol worship, man. So let's end it off at Sirach 30 and 8. God, I got right This is Sirach chapter 30, verse 8. And a horse not broken becometh headstrong, mm. and a child left to himself will be willful. A child left to himself will be willful. Horses, you have to break them, mm -hmm. you know? Because God. they'll just be wild, like just exactly. like wild, you know, bulls. Exactly. Gotta humble them. Gotta humble them, man. Just like women need to be humble mm -hmm. with the rod of correction, <laughs> you know? That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, real quick. Also, too, even them being in the school system, you know, because everybody don't have their kid out the school system. I know my kids in the school system, and that's a part of being left to themselves mm -hmm. because, mm -hmm. because they've been guided mm -hmm. by the left-hand side every single day. Mm -hmm. Like clock. Oh, for eight hours a day. And when they come home, you gotta come back that. You gotta they come, come back. home with a Christmas tree drawn. Right. With, with uh with uh fruit loop balls. Right. You know what I'm saying? As the ornaments and shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, right. no, we don't do give me that. Yeah. You gotta always come back right. what they put in their right. head. Right. Right. Come home. right, 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 right. And that's why we need Yahweh Shah ultimately, sure, because yeah. man, right. this world has so much influence over our children. It's horrible, man. It's horrible. It's horrible. Even if you homeschool. You can't. It's still a, a particular point where he has to be doing his thing, so he don't bother you, or you, you know. Mm -hmm. Right, <sighs> bro. We gotta get out of this bitch, man. Cause it's like I hate the tablet, but I love the tablet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you hate that shit. You know what I'm saying? As much you could get him into playing a piano and stuff like that. You know, you could keep your child busy that way. But ultimately, this world is so powerful that eventually. There is something. Your son will come home and sing, Kiki, do you love me? You and you'll like, be like, damn, I don't play that song. You're right, you're just but like, he's somewhere where he heard that shit so mm -hmm. much that that's a, he liked the shit. And you like, you don't like Jay Dilla? I'm playing Jay Dilla. Why don't you sing of that? Right. You know, but th that song is, you know, it's little shit like that, man. You'd be like, right. damn, man. You know, hey, and that, all those little points add up right. to a huge problem. Right, mm -hmm. or Mozart. Right, a huge problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If we stay up. here, if we yeah. stay here, it just adds up. Like, oh. Bro, your son can go to college. If you 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 grow up and your son goes to college, which I wouldn't send my son into college. You know right. what I'm saying? Nah. But you, let's say your son does grow up, bro. He comes back. I like men now. Oh. You know what I'm saying? This is what we're being faced with. This is the future. <laughs> if we don't get the hell out of here, man. Right. Oh. right. All right. Keep going, brother. Verse nine, Sirach thirty and nine. Conquer thy child, and he shall make thee afraid. Play with him, and he will bring thee to heaviness. Right. So you can't play too much with your child. You can't be too much folly. And they have to know there's only so far I can go with him. Right. They have to know that, man. Right. Yep. So go ahead. Take advantage of you. Right. Verse 10. Laugh not with him, lest thou have sorrow with him, and lest thou gnash thy teeth in the end. Right. In the end, he's just going to be a demon. You're going to be wanting him to listen to you and be serious, but he goes, <laughs> yeah. And sometimes I'm too nice with my child, and I have to get out of that, right. you know? Because sometimes he'll play, and he'll be like, bro, what, why are you playing so goddamn much? It's because you've been playing with him. Mm 
Right. And you this let him see that the scriptures told you don't do that. Right. right. You see, yeah. so even me as a father, I go through that. You know, like you have because you try, you know, you too, you can't be too laid back. Just like in a camp, you can't be too laid back. Sometimes you got to, you know, hey, man, shit. Right. You know, yeah, right. true. Yep. That's why you have that saying, familiarity breeds Bring contempt. contempt. Right, right. Ooh, you know, once you're so familiar, and I don't have any children, but just going from me being raised up and all that, you know, once you're too familiar with somebody in general, you can get to that point where you lose respect for that lose person. Lose respect. That's true. You know? Hey, real, real quick, another way to look at it real quick is this. When you come in this truth, you become a new person. Right? You become mm -hmm. humble, yeah. you know, like a new child, born mm -hmm. again. Okay? So when you raise, get raised in this truth and learning... That same, like you brought up, that same right. uh, 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 way of thinking applies mm -hmm. to the church. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Which is why, which is why the scriptures tell you about having little words with the L. Mm -hmm. Different things because right. you gotta understand right, right, that right, right, right. you gotta be wise and right. be balanced right. on right. when right. you say right. stuff, right. how you say it, where you right. at. Right. Mm -hmm. All that matters because if right. you don't, then you know it's like kids, like yeah, yeah. everything's a joke. Right, 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 everything right, ain't right, a joke. Right, it's right, a serious, right, this is right, the right, truth. Right, right, right. That's right. So you know, that's right. Hey, we got Elder Arianaza in the house too, man. Brother walked in, man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that brother's here too. So we go uh, end it off on these last few scriptures. Go ahead. Verse eleven: Give him no liberty to his youth, and wink not at his follies. Bow down his Give head. him no liberty in his youth. That's where it matters the most. Mm -hmm. This is where a foundation is instilled. These years of this child's life are going to determine what he's going to be. That's right. That's you right. see? That's right. Thank the, the water Yahweh Bashim Yahushai that we found the truth. Mm -hmm. Because imagine what we, I mean, based on the little foundation we had, as we had fathers, some of us, mm -hmm. some of us didn't, some of us grew up with our mother, you know. But it wasn't really, you didn't learn how to really deal, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, my mother and father were there, but I can't say that I learned the truth. Or, you know, they weren't teaching me the truth. Mm -hmm. But the little order that I did see there molded me, you know, and to at least, you know, my family wasn't just no cutthroat. So it's particular things that were instilled in me. You know, you had that one cousin or uncle who went to college, you know, and read Malcolm X and Alex Haley and here, read this book. You know, mm -hmm. there's certain things that were, you know, that that, that helped, mm -hmm. you know, to get to, to you to get to the point where you're at. But ultimately, the truth is the ultimate wisdom, man. Gone. You know, go ahead. Last verse, verse 12 in Sirach 30. Bow down his neck while he is young and beat him on the sides while he is a child. Lisi wax stubborn. And be disobedient unto thee and bring sorrow in thine heart. Right. And this world tells you that's wicked. Yeah. Now the child has rights over you. Right. Okay. The child can go to the school and say, Mrs. Anderson, <laughs> my, my dad hit me. Or my dad right. tells me that homosexuality is wrong. Right. My dad tells me I can't be a girl. I shouldn't wear a girl's clothes. What? And now the CPS is at your house. They take him from you mm -hmm. or her or your children from you and put them in a situation to where they can be taught to do and be at no order. Right, right. Well, if I may, what makes it worse oh. is that they they just strictly takes the take the child's word. Yeah. They don't investigate it. Right. They That's don't true. do any of that. And but this know, is a child. It's, it's a child. Like children lie. You know, Foolishness children. is bound in the heart of a child, and, according to the Bible. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And folly is saying great dignity. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? They look at that pretty much like, oh, we got to do something. You know, man, that child could be lying, man. And you ruined the whole household, man. Yeah, yeah. But that's yeah. the devil, man. That's, that's the, devil, the devil, the destroyer, the, the, the son of perdition, man. That's the right. son of destruction. Right, 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 right. So with that, we'll give all praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.